a century and a half, the San Francisco bar pilots have boarded oil tankers, cargo ships, and just about every other large vessel to guide them in, out, and around one of the most treacherous ports in the country. What happened in the 1850s was, as we all know, the gold rush. And uh, many ships were coming in, running aground, getting into accidents with each other. So back then it was determined that there needed to be a regulated system to have uh, pilots aboard ships that were coming and going so that the, the protection of the state of California could be kept in, in, in utmost concern. Navigating the busy waterways can be a dangerous job with the changing currents and geography of the bay. When you get a lot of rain and then a quick melt, you get a lot of sediment coming out oh, right. from the mountains and it can shoal up pretty fast. It's likely no one knows more about the bay than this elite group of 60 bar pilots and no one gets compensated like them either. Last year they were each paid nearly a half million dollars, a salary set by the state and paid by shippers, plus a generous pension the pilots don't have to pay into. For decades, the pilots enjoyed monopoly control of the bay with little pushback. Until this. One of the bar pilots slammed the cargo ship Costco Busson into the Bay Bridge, touching off a massive oil spill still being cleaned up five years later. An investigation found the bar pilots operating with virtually no legislative oversight. Now, the shipping companies and others are working to secure more control over the pilots and contesting their rising fees with the legislature. Last year they made $451,000. year before they made $393,000. So they got a year-over-year -year raise of $58,000. That's more than the state household median income. So it, it is significant and it makes people's eyebrows go up. One pilot even argued in a court fight with the IRS that the job, which requires them to be on for seven days, then off for seven days, amounted to part-time work. They apparently find it offensive to make less when they work less. We don't. <laughs> but the pilots say the multi-billion dollar shipping industry is exploiting the political situation to attack the highly specialized, highly trained navigators. The shippers are interested in their bottom line. We're interested in the safety and the protection of the environment for the state of California. The battle over pilots' compensation is expected to continue in the legislature later this year. Haven Daily, Associated Press, San Francisco.